This is Gaming Face Punch. Hello, I'm Nigel. And I'm Gareth, and this is Bite Size News. Video game voice actors are about to vote whether or not to go on strike, due to them not being paid royalties on the back of game sales. This could bring the production of many games to a grinding halt until a resolution has been found. You may remember that a writer's strike happened in 2008, as they felt that their bonuses should be based on the popularity of their content that they have written. Typically, a voice actor will be paid for the amount of hours they've worked in the studio. However, others who have worked on the game will receive a bonus depending on how well the games have sold. Voice actors nowadays do a lot of work, not only they voice the characters, they also perform mocap. Which you can argue is equal to, if not more than a traditional actor would do in an animated movie. Also, if you consider the length of most story-driven games, they far exceed that of movies. And you're getting paid a lot less than your movie counterparts. In my opinion, actors should be paid fairly for the work they have done and treated the same as the others that have worked on the game. Microsoft's Phil Spencer has stated that the PS4 price cut should be expected in the coming months. I fully expect PlayStation will drop price. When I think about the playbook they've used in the past, we feel good about the plans we have in place going forward in the holiday. If history tells, then we'll see a price drop from them coming. What Phil means is traditionally Sony will drop their price of the PlayStation in the third year close to the Christmas period. There has already been a price drop of $50 in Japan, which gives weight to his theory. This comment could well mean one of a few things. He's putting it out there so no one buys a PS4 until the price drop, thus slowing down the amount of units sold from now till the end of the year. He's hinting that the Xbox One will be dropping in price during this period as he expects the PS4 also to drop. Or that he's really just saying what he's seeing, which is a pattern of PlayStation pricing. We've said it here before at Gaming Face Punch that competition between Sony and Microsoft is great for us consumers, just as Phil has said in an interview with IGN. It's great for gamers when price competition happens. We saw this last holiday, and we saw crazy sales numbers on all consoles. Let us know what you think about the voice actors and PS4 price drop stories in the comments down below. Thanks for watching Bite Size News, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to comment down below. Follow us on Twitter. Add us on Google+. And like us on Facebook. And don't forget we've got a website too.